Hello for women who roar. My name is Zoe LePage, and on behalf of Exhale to Inhale, a nonprofit that brings trauma informed yoga to survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault, I'm here to offer you a 10 minute movement meditation practice. And I know for me, it's been a game changer to just take a few moments every day to slow down, to move, to breathe. Um, and just simply be, be where I'm at. So if that feels interesting, curious, or potentially useful to you, I invite you to join me here now. So go ahead and um, uncross your legs and sit up tall wherever it is that you are right now. And you may want to adjust yourself on your seat so that your feet can touch the floor beneath you. And take a moment to just tap the toes, tap the heels, right? Feeling that connection with the floor beneath you. Maybe giving the seat a little bit of a, a wiggle, feeling the surface beneath the seat. Right? And if there's a, any disconnection there, right, just notice that. And then again, come to sit tall and steady. Take a moment to bring some movement into the body, beginning with a roll of the shoulders. Sometimes with movement practices, yoga practices, we feel like they need to look or go or feel a certain way. Right? So letting this be different, right? letting this just be exploratory you in your body. Stay here or you can reverse the circles. And that element of curiosity just seen as you move, right? what sensations are present, lack of sensations. Knowing that at any point in this practice you can pause Whenever you've had enough, right, letting that be, coming again to stillness. Beautiful. Bring a little movement into the arms, right? So mindful of your surroundings, sweeping the arms up overhead and lowering them back down. Right, so that's quite a big movement, right? Arms up, around. And so if that level of sensation feels useful to your practice today, then you can by all means stay there. Or maybe if you want to explore a little less sensation in the body, just lifting the arms up to shoulder height. Arms out around up to shoulder height. So not better or worse, right? Just different levels of sensation. Arms either all the way up around overhead or just to shoulder height. Noticing the, oof, the muscles that are even involved in this level of movement. And stop at any time. I'll be here for three more rounds if you want to join me for three. For two. One more, letting the hands come to rest on the thigh. Notice if you feel any sensation in the arms, lack of sensation. And if you want to continue on, we'll bring some movement into the torso, arching the spine, looking up towards the ceiling, rounding, looking in towards the belly. And so first version of the movement, arching the spine, look up. Round the back, look in towards the belly. Again, right, just noticing. Noticing the body, right, the movement, the sensation. If you want to add on, we can experiment with linking the breath 
And so as we inhale, spine arches, looks up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, back rounds, look in towards the belly. Arching the spine, breath, inhale. Exhale as the back rounds. And if for any reason linking breath and movement doesn't feel like it's working for you today, right? Just let that be. I'll be here for three more rounds if you want to join me. Two more. One more. And then when you feel complete, coming to sit tall again. Beautiful. All right, so just a little bit of movement into the system. And then we're going to bring ourselves to come to stillness in uh, meditation practice. So once again, get steady in your seat. Hands can face down on the thighs or up, and whatever feels most useful. For me, palms down often helps me feel a little more grounded, a little more rooted, so I'm going to go with that today. Beautiful. And then you can either close the eyes if that feels comfortable to you, or if not, maybe you can just soften the gaze a little, right? I'm going to talk us through this so you don't need to necessarily be, be staring right at me, so you can soften the gaze and, and maybe look down towards the floor. And, and just beginning your practice by noticing the breath. And just noticing the breath. And the in-breath. And the out-breath. Noticing where it resides as the breath is breathed in and as the breath is breathed out just letting the attention begin to ride the waves of the breath without needing to change it or make it different from how it is a, a pretty profound way to to tune in with yourself, right? To just notice what's up with the breath today. Beautiful. And then we can simply continue here, right? Steady in our seats, observing the breath. Or if you're interested, if you're curious, you can add on a word or a phrase to the breath. One that we often use that exhale to inhale is as we breathe in, we silently say to ourselves right here. And as we exhale, silently saying to ourselves right now. Breathing in right here. Breathing out right now. Or any other word or phrase that feels supportive of your practice today. Three more rounds of breath. And two more. One more. Beautiful, and then and easefully, slowly bringing yourself out of that. Right? You can make any movements with the body. And let the gaze take in the rest of the room that you're in. And just notice. You might notice how you feel. Right? The shift doesn't always need to be dramatic, but in and of itself, just taking a few moments to connect back to you is 
at least for me, I think it's, it's pretty profound. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope that you will check out Exhale to Inhale. We have a digital offering called A Space to Breathe in which we're offering yoga in our unique style um, Monday through Friday, twice a day. So definitely check that out. Um, you know, during this time, it's, it's a, our practice is a, is a powerful practice to help find some steadiness in in the chaos and to tap back into your inherent strength and resilience. So I hope you will join us over um, at Exhale to Inhale for a space to breathe. And in the meantime, be well. Thank you.